This video is made out of pictures that I've taken when I've been on vacation at my brother's house, um, pictures that he sent to me, so some of the quality might not be the greatest. But anyway, this is my brother's 69 Fastback Mustang that he's been working on for a few years. He probably started at about the same time I started my street rail project. And I always kid him about uh, buying the rights to build a Mustang, but he's really come a long ways with it. And he's actually gotten further with his project than what I have with mine. But this is where he's building this car at, right out here on the concrete pad. This occasionally makes things a little difficult with weather and such things. So we're up here in Missouri. You can see there's boards and weight on this thing to try to hold it down. Rocks and all that kind of stuff because it gets pretty windy. The daily but, tornado. The daily tornado, yeah. And, uh, but... Like I said, this is pretty much the same spot where this Mustang has been sitting at, being built the whole time. And it just wasn't a carport thing over it until he got ready to paint it. And he needed to keep it out of the weather for paint. But that's what you got to do. You just got to want to do it. This is the condition of the car when he bought it. Um, I wish I had some of the pictures that I can't seem to find that show the entire front end of the car removed. He replaced the frame rails, um, the inner fender, uh, shock towers, radiator support, um, cowl area, floor pans. I mean, this car was in pretty bad shape when he got a hold of it. He's done a lot of work on it. As you can see here, you can see all the way to the back window. This is a picture right here, looking from the trunk forward again after he replaced the floor pans. Frame rails, torque boxes. Here's another shot at the inside of the car. Steering columns back in. I don't think he's going to be keeping that steering wheel. Uh, back panel had to be replaced around the tail lights. And the, uh, this is a picture of the quarter panel in the process of being redone. Both quarter panels had to be redone. Here's a better shot of up underneath the car after the work was done. Like I said, it all, everything you see there, I mean, other than the uh, suspension parts, pretty much all new. And we'll take a quick look up underneath the car with this picture right here, and a quick look back at what it looks like before. And then we'll jump to a video that I, I took a couple months ago when I was traveling through. Stopped in to visit him. Go inside and take a look at what's in here. Yeah. Okay, I see you got it taped off for the sealant. Mm -hmm. These are the original lights and stuff. I just cleaned them up. Kind of hard to video anything in here, but I'm just going to walk up along this side. I got this just in yesterday. The windshield? Yeah, the windshield. I cleaned it all up. I have pictures of all this in here when you first started with this car. Mm -hmm. All of this not being here. Yeah, where you could wave at somebody in the back yeah. the tent was open. I didn't yeah. even think it had to be open. <laughs> <laughs> Can I open up this door on this side? Yeah. It's just getting done. So it actually has floors in it now. All this you could you could stand back here at the trunk and see the front tire. Yeah, you can see all the seam sealer along there where the pans were replaced. A lot of work going on, and it was painted in here. This isn't set up for paint. You had duct work up. Okay, you can kind of see where the, some of the structure still is for the duct. That's where the dent came in. Right over here. Oh, where it dropped? Yeah. yeah. It's still dented? Or yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so you had a 2x4 across yeah, here like that. like that there and it fell yeah because that box was on there yeah 
made a way. So for all you people out there who say you don't have the space, you don't have a place to do it, you don't have what it takes, my brother right here, this is his Mustang, and this thing has been done literally outside on a concrete pad, and you just put this building over it to paint it and all that stuff about what, last fall? So it's been up here about a year. But other than that, it's all been done outside on a concrete pad. And, I mean, just, you know, frame rails, rocket panels. The whole front end was replaced on this, basically, wasn't it? Yeah. And the cowl. The cowl. Oh, yeah, that's brand new metal. Big section of this was replaced. Yeah. He actually made the shaped the metal to make that and welded it in because it was rusted out right along here nice nice oh yeah talking about the little bit of oh yeah a little kind of almost orange peel yeah so you're gonna have to re-clear it or it's just a clear coat just quick See back here, I already buffed and waxed this. Well, after I got it painted, but I mean, it's you know what I mean. It's comparable to my yeah new Camaro. It really is. The paint is, you know, it, it kind of. I mean, it, it could use a little more work, but I mean, it hasn't been washed for a year. Yeah, I mean, you know it's, I mean? yeah, it's got dust all over it and stuff like that, but. Uh, this thing really looks amazing, man. I mean, you had to do frame rail sections in the yeah, back too, didn't you? All, all this, this, the, the uh, inner and outer wheel inner and outer wheel arches. Um, the fenders have been rear quarters, rear quarters all the way up to. All the way up. Yeah, you can see the same. I put it up high so if the trunk was open. You can't. Okay, yeah, it's right there. You yeah. Can't even tell. That's it, right there. Yeah. And I replaced this to this uh, uh, in front of the tank. All this, all this panel back here was replaced. This, this, this. This is original right here. Huh? <laughs> this is an original part. Uh -huh. Wow, and there's no rust on it. Yeah. Huh. Mm. New fuel tank. The rear frame rail sections were replaced. Yeah, right up there. Yeah. Either side. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see where we were. Done. And at the front of the car, Everything. the whole front end was redone. Everything from, I mean, it's even firewall, firewall partially part replaced. Firewall. Yeah. The whole front frame rail, the front gradient core support. Mm -hmm. But, yep. Yeah. So like I said, this is for all you people out there that say you can't do this kind of stuff. I'm not going to dig all that out, but these are all new all the way up. Yeah, Everything new at the front. And what you did before you took it apart is you had it on jack stands and hung strings down. With plumb, yeah. plumb bobs from certain holes and um, marked it on the, on the concrete. Measurements and, measurements and height and all that stuff to square it up. Fun stuff. This car is amazing compared to what it looked like. I always mess with my brother about he bought the rights to build a Mustang when he bought this thing. I got one of these. Yep. <laughs> yep, he got one of those. <laughs> you have to have that little tag right there to build one of these. <laughs> and you're working on, you said this goes on with double sided tape up here? Yeah. And that's the only place it sticks down? Yeah, this sticks underneath. It'll go underneath the rubber. Um, and it so snaps it, over, but it has a double-sided double sticky tape. And then this just has a uh, weather sticker on the bottom to hold that from scratching the yeah. glass. But it's not original. It's the original one. I got to drill holes in it, and I don't want to drill holes in it. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree with you. I'd put the aftermarket one on it, too, so I don't have to drill holes in the damn thing. These, I can let, some people put them on a piece of wire. The, oh yeah, this the inner, this the inner, inner seal edge yeah, felt. 
Some people put them in with wire and stuff, but that's an original part or no original yeah, that's type. That's an original part. I just painted it. Oh, okay. That looks yeah. That looks but then new. you put these on, and you can Without actually seal. see it. And some people just put them in with wire. Some people use poplar and shit like that. But it comes with these, and you just bend them over and and fold them, and it looks factory. Yeah. You know? And I got to replace these. I got new, better, way better. Better quarter glass? Yeah. And this is rattles. A little bit when you close it because nothing's... Yeah, no no interior and stuff in it. All right, it's kind of warm in here, so I think we'll step back out of here. <laughs>